Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. It is the 27th of September 2018. Um, I was just watching Sky News. I know I shouldn't because it only triggers things and the fact is it's just one person's word against another and how truthful all these media outlets are is very debatable. I mean, we only have to look at, you know, I know I always bring up the Iraq-Afghanistan war, how, how they acted within that that we know that they they follow party lines, government lines, or, or media outlets, as do humans. They follow the country that they're born within without even knowing it, and they don't, they believe they're being objective when a lot of the times they're being subjective. And they have their own personal view because they're brought up in a way where we're brought up divided into countries rather than actual, all knowing that we're actually one species. So anyway, they're talking about Novichok, obviously, and you know, and that now they seem to be talking about um, some colonel they found um, who's part of the GRU, and Putin lied or something like that. I'll play the clip in a minute. It's, uh, they're reviewing the Daily Mail's article. I think assume it's from today, and um, and I know that obviously they've had these these two men that they said did it. They've got CCTV. I don't think they've actually shown the CCTV yet, um, but they claim that they've been going through this kind of thing and they found these, identified these two people that happened to be in Russia and these two people claim to be um, tourists that just came to visit Salisbury. Now, the, the thing is, it's, it, it, all, it reminds me of um, Animal Farm when, you know, in, in the sense, well, you know, where you just pick some. It's the same thing we've been doing, you know, throughout history of recent times. You know, like what Saddam was saying, with Osama bin Laden, where you create an enemy. Often these enemies are offshore, as in Animal Farm, as in you have in 1984 with Big Brother. You know, like Big Brother doesn't really exist. But it's just you create a someone to fear, someone to hate, someone that you can actually never bring in front of you and and you know, question them. And the thing is, is once the media says these two people are innocent, that's, you know, we all know that in, in, in our human failings that the first thing we're told we believe, and anything after that that counters that we believe is a lie. You know, the same way as we have with globe and flat Earth, the same as we have with 9/11 being shown pictures and told this is what happened, and then finding out, oh no, what about all these things that don't make sense now? When people came afterwards and said, oh, they had many explosions etc etc so we do have a problem as humans to when we, we get the first set of information that's what we believe and then to, to to counter that you know when something else comes afterwards we find that very difficult um so you know obviously you know once the media and the, the government provides the media with the oh these are the people we think it is we've got intelligence people then believe in authority and that's a logical fallacy um, you know, just because the, the government says someone did it, people will believe it. And that's, you find these people here, they're reviewing this newspaper. They may be honest people, genuine people. You know, we're all like that. Um, and we all believe, you know, because we don't, we don't think, well, why would, why would the government lie? <laughs> has, has anyone never studied the history of, of governments and all the things that they've done in the past and even in these days? So, anyway, I mean, I don't know who did it. Obviously, I don't have the information. Maybe it was these men, maybe it wasn't. But it's just a way that how it's so easy for, you know, because Russia is deemed like uh, Germany through the Second World War, and, you know, like in the movies, the, uh, the, the baddie is always German, the goodie is always a Western European, English or American. The baddie is always uh, German, and nowadays it's Russian or it's Chinese or it's a Muslim. You know, they create these things. And so it's easy for people to get caught up in this, you know, when they read it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a Russian. Oh, Russians are all bad and horrible. And yeah, they would uh, gas people. Uh, but, you know, that, that's based on, that's, that's, it's like racism. It has no fact to it. It's just, you've, you've through movies and television, you've been, believe, you know, you've been cultured to believe such a thought. We're all one species. We're all one person. <laughs> There's no difference between any of us. We're all capable of the same things. Anyway, here's the, when they discuss 
this aspect which just made me laugh to how how they all follow party line and they don't question anything at all it's like oh yeah that's the facts that's the way it is what's Theresa May going to do about this no one thinks that oh all this could just be made up believing you know thinking without thinking believing without fact saying just because government has said oh this is it oh that means there's evidence well show me the evidence let's let's see all this stuff how do we know you didn't fabricate it because you have the possibility of doing all that <laughs> anyway here it is Um, yeah, finally we have what, what appears to be, at least in my reading of it, you know, decent evidence of yeah. the link between the GRU and what happened in Salisbury. What's the mail saying? Yeah, well, well I mean, basically, the, the mail is asking the question, so what are we actually going to do about it? Now that we can see there's so much a trial of evidence that not only has Putin lied and been protesting so much, but actually these are decorated officers of, of his, what actually are we going to do about it? I just like the trail that the uh, man has done because it, sh it just shows, if, for example, look at the passports, a couple of digits have been, uh, 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 were changed. However, it's nailed on now that the passport numbers do link with the two su suspects. Um, they've got the evidence of he does protest too much. But the thing they're saying is, Russia, who have been involved in their stuff, deadly intent was shocking incompetence. The fact is that, you know, they, they've actually had these chemical new weapons on our doorstep and then you've got the policeman who was affected, you've got the woman who has died. What are we going to do about it? We're pointing to all these fingers. Is that enough? Are we actually going to put any sanctions? Is that enough? Well, pres presumably what Putin's going to do is just discredit the outfit who's come up with this investigation, which, which, which has already morning, happened to them. They, kept, they were the ones yeah. behind all the evidence of the downing yeah. of the Malaysian Airlines, yeah. right? Correctly. The pictures of that, of that um, missile carrier going yeah. through but Ukraine. But what, are we do about, but what are we going to do about it? Well, it's interesting when you said incompetence, because was it incompetence or arrogance? Well, you know, it's, it could it's, be it's, seen as, well, no, but it's we can do what we want. Well, yeah, but let's, but, let's, but, you bring us a, let's bring in uh, the eye, and this is um, yeah. uh, Theresa May having a pop at, uh, uh, at the Kremlin for the way in which they... I mean, it does feel, when you look at the evidence that has been gathered, first yeah. by the Met and second by Bellingcat, actually, the, the Russians didn't put a huge amount of effort into covering their tracks here, did they? And that's the thing, and that's the, the whole discussion. Is that incompetence? Was it arrogance? Was it well, what Sending you, a message. Yeah, but you know, sending a message. What are you going to do? And that's that whole mail, and, of course, this one in the eye, too. Theresa May, of course, what does she have to do? She's at the UN, she's there with the world leaders, and of course she's got to attack Moscow, because if they're well, linked... When you say attack Moscow, what do you mean by attack Moscow? Well, attack in terms of the desperate fabrication, attack with words. Okay, okay, okay. So actually accusing them yeah, but, 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 but you've got, but you, 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 but, but you've got a country of saying... I, I can't see where Chris is coming from. Mm. We shouldn't forget, should we, ultimately, on the basis of the evidence that we have at the moment, the Russian state sanctioned exactly. events which led yeah. to which the killed. murder of a British yeah. citizen. That's yeah. the thing. Is, you know, it, it, someone's died, a British citizen's died but in Chris, your own what, country. But not she, they've just found that evidence. She's there on the world stage, so that she's doing what she's meant to do, which mm. is attack them on the world stage and say, enough is enough. The problem is, what are the next steps? What do, as and the mail was saying, what do you do? And there may well be a response that we will never know about as well that's happening beneath the surface. Yeah. Um, Chris, inside the telegraph. Well, uh, it just amazes me that, that how they just take everything hook, line and sinker, you know, you can see their own, um, their own way of, of, of viewing things, um, in the sense that we're all brought up patriotic, we're all brought up, you know, like I said, through movies and stuff, disliking certain countries, there's no doubt about that, if you polled like a hundred people, you know, you would get that they you know, the people think and mistrust Russians, they think somehow they're corrupt, somehow they're this, that and the other, whereas that is probably very fallacious and probably not based on fact, it's just based on how we report things. The fact is, if you can get two sources, like a Russian source and a UK source, and they counter each other, then how do you know which one's true? Are you just going to believe the one that's from your country? Oh, because you're told that, yeah, the BBC and Sky News, they don't lie. Of course they don't. And our politicians, they don't lie either. Do, do we know world history? Do we know what we did in Africa, what we did in India, what we did in uh, Jerusalem and Palestine? <laughs>
You, you think that people, you know, that we've evolved into better people now than we were. The British Empire is full of, of travesties, illegalities, actions that if they were done by countries this day, they would be bombed, they would be condemned by the United Nations. But we, we, we skirt that in the past and say, oh, that was the past, oh yeah, that was very terrible what we did. We're descendants of those people. Those thoughts, they don't go away. So just to, to, to believe, <laughs> it just makes me laugh how they don't even question. They bring their own, not racism, but their own, you know, oh yeah, Russians, they're bad, they did it, the Moscow did it. You know, just because even if the, it was these two people, how do you know they linked to, to Moscow? So now Putin ordered it. If a terrorist in this country does an action abroad, are we going to say, oh yeah, yeah, Theresa May, she actioned it. No one's going to ever say that. <laughs> I don't think they might be showing me evidence. Ago, they said that those were just aliases that were used by the two All right, now, now, now here. Really There's more of it now. I don't know if they're trying to cover up their own uh, mistakes with the names. I don't know who made the mistake with the names. Also this morning, the investigative website Bellingcat says it's close to revealing the true identity of the second man suspected of being behind the Novichok poisoning in Salisbury. Uh, one of the two suspects has already been revealed to be a Russian colonel who was made a hero of the Russian Federation just four years ago. The two men stand accused by the British government of being Russian intelligence officers behind the poisoning of former spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia. Our defence correspondent Alistair Bunkle reports. When the Metropolitan Police named Ruslan Bosharov and Alexander Petrov three weeks ago, they said that those were just aliases that were used by the two suspects. Now Ruslan Bosharov's real name has been revealed as Anatoly Vladimirovich Chapiga a colonel in the GRU and a veteran of the Chechen conflict. In 2014, he was made a hero of the Russian Federation for his service in Ukraine and his name put on this monument. It is one of the country's highest awards and is approved by the Russian president himself. It is further evidence that the two men who appeared on Russian state television to protest their innocence are actually highly trained soldiers. We are the people you saw. I'm Ruslan Bashirov, and I'm Alexander Petrov. The revelations were made by the investigative website Bellingcat, who tracked down passports and photographs of Chopiga on military service. We found um, interesting evidence during this investigation that the Russian authorities, the secret services, have tried to infiltrate the um, visa issuance system for British visas. And we believe that they use that uh, infiltration to attempt to provide visas for these two gentlemen and maybe to others that would bypass the normal checks and balances. Hours before the news broke, Theresa May and Sergei Lavrov clashed at the United Nations Security Council chamber in New York. The United Kingdom has presented detailed evidence, clearly laid out in charges of attempted murder and the use and possession of a chemical weapon against two agents of the Russian state. We have taken appropriate action with our allies and we will continue to take the necessary steps to ensure our collective security. Russia has only sought to obfuscate through desperate fabrication. We are witnessing an increase in unsubstantiated rhetoric about the Salisbury affair. At the same time, the UK is stubbornly avoiding a joint investigation which we've offered several times. Scotland Yard and UK intelligence have slowly pieced together the movements of the two men from when they arrived in London and then travelled to Salisbury twice in two days back in March. The more that is revealed about the two men, the closer it gets to the door of the Kremlin. Russia continues to deny its involvement, but bit by bit, the net is closing. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News. Right, well, there you go, so, I don't know, the thing is, like, even me, I'm thinking now when I'm hearing all that, obviously I've been programmed just as much as everyone else to think, oh, Russia can't be trusted, and maybe they are doing this, and, oh, look at all this evidence, but it's easy to fabricate evidence, isn't it? It's not difficult. I mean, 
finding, you know, even creating CCTV wouldn't be impossible with Photoshop and, you know, we've all seen movies. We all know what's possible in movies. So obviously in real life, you know, you can adapt the same things. Um, you know, obviously then you're thinking, oh, that's a bit outlandish. Why would they go to that trouble? Well, why do they always want to be at war with Russia? Why is that always the case? Is it also to do with, you know, keeping your own country financially stable by being able to put sanctions on other countries and then keeping them in a certain position like we do with the debt in Africa? I don't know. The thing is, is I'm not just going to believe just because BBC and Sky News present so-called evidence. The fact is, is that we know that there's always uh, in this country a hatred for North Korea, for Russia, for Iran, for Afghanistan, for Iraq, for Muslim countries, for Russian countries, for China. Just because of where they are. Even though they're all actually the same species as us, they're all human beings, they all have the same fall fall fallacies that we all do. They all are you know, capable of doing good and bad. And throughout history, both countries, all countries have done the same thing. I think we should be beyond that now, but we still want to carry on keeping. I think it's just so we can lift ourselves above other countries, being slightly bullish about it. You, you know, we have a problem, so we involve America. Oh, you're my big friend. Come on, come stand behind me. Beat up Russia. Come on. The same tactics you see in schoolyards, you're seeing played out on the political world. So are we just big children then? Take care, take care, God bless and peace.